Well, good morning and welcome. It's good to have you with us this morning. We're celebrating our morning prayer from the Book of Common Prayer, and we'll be using the readings and the collect for the fourth Sunday after Easter, which is can be found beginning on page 194 for those of you who like to follow along. Wanted to thank Sheila for helping out and Paul for helping out with some of the stuff in the background that you don't see that makes us look like we know what we're doing. I'm very glad to have that and I'm very glad to have all of you here joining with us this morning. You know the drill. Get yourself a cup of tea or coffee or juice, whatever you'd like. Sit down in a comfy chair with a piece of toast or a raisin tea bun or something and we're delighted to have you with us. And if you think of it, send a little note along to tell us that you're watching and where you're watching from because that pulls us together a little more as a community. Um, so thank you for that. And our service will begin with the opening sentences and then we carry on. The Lord is risen indeed. Thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. O come, let us worship. And we continue on page four. Dearly beloved, Scripture moveth us in sundry places to acknowledge and confess our manifold sins and wickedness, and that we should not dissemble nor cloak them before the face of Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, but confess them with an humble, lowly, penitent, and obedient heart, to the end that we may obtain forgiveness of the same by His infinite goodness and mercy. And although we ought at all times humbly to acknowledge our sins before God, yet ought we most chiefly so to do when we assemble and meet together to render thanks for the great benefits that we have received at His hands, to set forth His most worthy praise, to hear His most holy word, and to ask those things which are requisite and necessary, as well for the body as the soul. Wherefore, I pray and beseech you, as many as are here present, to accompany me with a pure heart and humble voice under the throne of the heavenly grace. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desireth not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, hath given power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardoneth and absolveth all them that truly repent and unfeignedly believe his holy gospel. Wherefore we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do at this present, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And over on page 6. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And our canticle for today is the Benedictus, which you can find on page 9. And we'll read it together, the Benedictus <laughs> on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us 
in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would grant us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We continue with our readings. The epistle is written in the first chapter of the letter of James, beginning at the 17th verse. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, no other shadow of turning. Of his own will he brought us to birth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of all his creation. Ye know this, my beloved brethren, and so let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God, and therefore lay aside all filthiness and residue of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. Here in the epistle. The appointed psalm for today's service is Psalm 98, found on page 455. We'll do together verses 1 to 4. <clears throat> oh, oh, sing unto the, the Lord a new song, for he hath done marvelous things. With his own right hand and with his, his holy hand, arm hath he gotten himself the victory. The Lord hath declared his salvation. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He hath remembered his mercy and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel, and all the ends of the world have seen the salvation of our God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, the 16th chapter, beginning with the 5th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said unto his disciples, Now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more. Of judgment, because the Prince of this world is judged. And I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine, Therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall show it unto you. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise be to thee, O Christ. We affirm the faith we share in the words of the Apostles' Creed on page 10. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We continue with our time of prayer. Let us pray. We pray the colic for the fourth Sunday after Easter, page 194. O Almighty God, who alone canst order the unruly wills and affections of sinful men, grant unto thy people that they may love the thing which thou commandest, and desire that which thou dost promise, that so, among the sundry and manifold changes of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Second colleague for peace. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all the assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Third colleague for grace. O God, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the Queen and the Commonwealth. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, the parliaments of the Commonwealth, and all who are set in authority under her. Remember Justin, our Prime Minister, that all may order all things in wisdom, righteousness, and peace to the honor of thy holy name and the good of thy church and people, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In our tri-diocesan uh, tri intercessions this week, we pray for the parish of Gander Bay, the rector, the Reverend Gerald Giles, and the deacon, the Reverend Stella Mills, the congregations at Boyd's Cove, Baytona, and Gander Bay. And we pray for the parish of the Good Shepherd in Mount Pearl and, and the Reverend Barbara Boone, deacon in charge, and the congregations at the Good Shepherd. In the Anglican Communion, we pray, pray for the Episcopal Church in Jerusalem and the Middle East. And in our Diocese of Central Newfoundland, we pray for the Reverend Keith Denman, our priest, the Right Reverend John Watton, bishop, and the Venerable Terry Keynes, Executive Archdeacon. A prayer for clergy and people. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and clergy, 
and all congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for all conditions, page 14. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we only beseech thee for all sorts and conditions, that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guarded and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and know the faith and unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or state, remembering those we know and heavy in our hearts and those known to you alone, that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ is sake. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the prayer for the extension of the church on page 40. Let us pray the third prayer it's on page 41. Number 3, 41, the third prayer. Together. Blessed, Blessed Savior, Savior, who didst look with compassion upon, upon the multitudes, multitudes. raise up, up, we beseech thee, faithful people, to seek and find thy sheep dispersed and lost, that they may be saved forever, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. And we pray number 9 on page 61. Number 9 on 61, for the advancement of medical science. O oh God, <clears throat> whose spirit filleth all the world, revealing the wonders of nature through each succeeding day, we thank thee for the continual advance in medical science, whereby our bodies are made apt for thy service beseeching thee that those who minister to thee in nature may be consecrated to thee by grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we pray the prayer over the gifts on page 74. Blessed be, be thou, Lord, Lord God, God of Israel, Israel forever and ever. ever. All, All that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. All, All things come of thee, and of thine own, own have we given thee. Pray together the general thanksgiving. Almighty, Almighty God, God, Father of all mercies, we, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord, to, to whom with thee and the Holy, Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world, world without end. end. Amen. Amen. And together, Almighty, Almighty God, who has given, given us grace at this time, time with one accord to make, to make our, our common supplications unto thee, and, and does promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Well, thank you once again to all of you for joining with us today. There are many ways to gather in community, there are many ways to pray, and I'm delighted that we have this opportunity to gather week by week in prayer throughout a challenging time for all of us. As we are hoping, 
not quite planning is overstating it, but we are hoping and praying that we'll be able to continue our 8.30 services in person in September on the hope that by that time most people will have had vaccinations, they will have had time to work, and, and the general level of a virus in the community will be down low enough that that will start to be a safe thing to do. Our 1030 service is being held in person at the moment with masking and seating requirements and it's also available online a little bit later in the day. We don't broadcast that one live. We do a little bit of cleanup and sorting before the file is uploaded but you're more than welcome to also join us at our 1030 service a bit later in the day. Our final prayer is the grace. We say together, the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you.